Hello everybody, let's take a look at this case. Uh, this is about an NS2-3 to grade cataract uh, planned for topical fecal emulsification using an MVR knife. I have started by making my two uh, side port incisions. Uh, these are angled MVRs and I always prefer them in my surgeries. Uh, this is using intracameral uh, midriatic to dilate the pupil and also give an anesthetic effect because it has got lidocaine as well and follow this by uh, staining the anterior capsule with trifan blue. You can also notice the cracked crocodile shagreen that is seen in the periphery of the cornea. Uh, HPMC is used and it is also coated uh, on the surface of the uh, cornea for a better visibility and followed by a 2.8 mm incision which is the main port via keratome. Uh, using a cystitome CCC is started with a C pattern and this is fairly completed with ease. This is then followed by hydro dissection and little tapping movements. The nucleus is rotated. Some OVD is put again inside the anterior chamber. So then going towards vagal emulsification, I prefer to use a sharp chopper. This is a combined chopper. So uh, going with the direct chop over here, a good crack is achieved. Embedding uh, the vagal probe, the tip nicely into the nucleus. Rotating and then chopping and then rotating the nucleus, making it into smaller pieces and uh, emulsifying. Uh, I'm using a Laureate FACO emulsification machine from Alcon over here. I have no financial interests and uh, the uh, power is about 55 to 60 and the vacuum is about 360 over here. You can see that multiple times air bubbles are coming. For beginner surgeons, it is imperative and important that you take these out. For an expert surgeon, you can go ahead. So, the last piece of the nucleus is left and then that was also rotated. And again eaten up using the Filco emulsification machine. The FECO part is done, putting some HPMC again into the anterior chamber. So the next step now would be uh, doing an irrigation aspiration. I prefer to use a bimanual IA, going inside the eye and grabbing hold of this cortex chunk that is there and then bringing it to the center and aspirating. and then polishing the PC and the anterior capsular rim. I do spend a good amount of time in this step as I want to minimize my chances of having a PCO later on, although it is going to happen. So the lens that I'm going to implant is a preloaded uh, Alcon uh, Clarion lens. It's a wonderful uh, monofocal lens very smooth delivery goes inside very comfortably and rotating it into the bag. So my technique for implanting IOLs is always a hydro implantation because I don't need to go behind the IOL and do uh, my uh, and wash the visco behind it. So except a three piece lens, all cases I prefer to do a hydro implantation. It makes the surgery quicker, faster and unnecessary steps are avoided and before coming out I would hydrate my right side port and then coming out and hydrate my other ports as well. This patient did pretty well with a vision of 6-6 on POD1. Thank you for watching.